Hello, my name is Kevin Lee. I'm currently a rising junior going to Dublin High School. The project I chose was the Raspberry Pi image recognition, and this is my third and final milestone. My third milestone was adding features as well as the modifications from the original plan. My additional features are presented here. After the program runs the code that is above this line of the code shown here, the machine will already train itself with the given data and classify the inputted image to test or to validate. Then the program will select a folder with a validating data set and rename it according to the classification. It also presents the prediction values as well. Modifications that were involved were, were using my current environment, Jupyter Notebook, to present my model instead of VNC Viewer as I had issues with transferring. A major issue during this milestone was attempting to transfer from Jupyter Notebook into VNC Viewer, from TensorFlow into TensorFlow. -like. The issue was quantizing the file, or compressing the file or code into an 8 bit model. TensorFlow is the main version, while TensorFlow Lite is a smaller version to fit smaller end devices such as your phone or tablet. This means that TensorFlow needs to run with a smaller model so you can process through data. In order to transfer this model, there are a series of steps which are dependent on your type of model. To complete before ending with a finalized TF Lite model, which one of them being quantizing, as the majority of the TensorFlow models incorporate 16 bit, 32 bit, or 64 bit. I've used multiple platforms such as Google Colab to proceed its quantization, but didn't have success as my version of TensorFlow was no longer supported, and when I ran certain steps, I received errors. As time was running out, I knew I wouldn't have enough time to complete this major goal of mine, so I stuck with my current environment and made the program more applicable for the audience. This milestone involved many struggles, unsuccessful attempts, and outcomes. Even though I didn't get the results I wanted, I persevered and modified according to the guidelines for which my product was acceptable. Also, even though this is going to be my final milestone, I intend to continue further with the development of my model as to create new models which are more complex and help solve issues such as in the medical field. This project has done a great job at exposing me to the basics of machine learning, how it works, the thoughts behind each code, as well as the satisfaction of when the model runs as you wanted or predicted. I will continue to use this of what I have learned from this project and use it as a motivation into pursuing my goals.